Hey guys, it's me again, and let's solve another leak code problem, merge two sorted lists. So this is an easy problem. It's a mainly fundamental problem. There's nothing crazy about it, but it's a pretty good problem to understand some basic stuff. So we're given two linked lists, right? So this is the first one. This is the second one. Both of them are already sorted, and we just want to merge them into an output linked list. The only catch is that we have to use the original nodes, right? Like we can't create copies of the nodes. So let's say we have list one and we have list two. I'm just going to take them exactly from the example that they gave us so we can actually focus on the general algorithm itself. So your intuition will probably solve this problem for you. So it's basically since the lists are sorted, we start at the beginning of both of them, right? Now we can just compare the values. So they're both one, so it doesn't really matter which one we pick. So we can just take, uh, I'll say list one, right? So we'll take this one and insert it in our output and then move to the next one uh, and then just continue the algorithm. The only catch here is that right now our output list is empty, right? So this kind of gives us an edge case because our, we don't even have a list itself yet. So what I like to do is just create like a dummy node. So this is a pretty common technique and you avoid any edge cases. You avoid the edge case of the initial empty list. So let's say we start out with a list, right? This is a dummy node, it could have any possible value. So now we're gonna insert one into our list. Now we're gonna compare two values of two and one. In this case, the value from list two is smaller, so we're gonna take it, insert it into our output list, one. Now we're gonna be comparing these two, so two and three, the value from list one is smaller, we take it and insert it into our output, two. And then of course, we can move to the last value in list one. So now we're at four and three, which one of them is smaller? Of course, three, which is the value in list two. I'm running out of space, but I think you get the idea at this point. Uh, so now we're at the two last values from each list. Uh, we'll just take the value from list one and add it, which is four. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter now. This is the last edge case that we have to worry about. So now for list one, there aren't any more values left, right? So we can't really continue our algorithm. Lucky for us, there's only one value left in list two, but it's not always gonna be the case, right? Maybe there could be a bunch of other values, right? Four, five, six, there could be other values in list two. Now, what would we do in this case? Well, we can do a really easy thing, which is just take the remaining portion of the list. So if we run out, so if one of the lists is empty, of course, the, the list two in this case is still sorted. So we can literally just take that list insert it into the end of our result, right? So that's basically the idea. Okay, now let's write the code. So remember, I like, and most people like to use this technique of creating a dummy node. So you don't have to worry about the edge case of inserting into a empty list. The tail of our list is initially, I'm just gonna say, you know, the dummy. So, now we're gonna keep going. We're gonna iterate through these two lists. What's the condition that we're gonna do that? Basically, if both of them are non-empty, right? Because that's when we can actually compare the two values. So while list one and list two are non-null. So now we can do our comparison. So if the value of list one is less than the value of list two, then of course, we're gonna take the list one value and insert it into our tail. So tail.next is gonna be the node itself, right? List one node. And then we can, of course, update our list one pointer. Now the else case is if list two is less than or equal, right? So if they were equal, the else condition would evaluate. So we're going to do the exact same thing, except list two is going to be inserted. And don't forget, we do have to update our tail pointer, but the tail pointer is going to be updated regardless of which node we insert into our list. So that's why I'm not putting it in either of the conditionals. 
and you might be tempted to just say return dummy.next, return the list, but don't forget our condition was list one and list two are non-null. What if one of them is empty but the other one isn't right now? Well, in that case, we want to find the non-empty list and then insert it at the end of our result. So if L1 is non-null, then we'll say tail.next is equal to L1. So we're just taking that remaining portion of L1 and inserting it into the end of the list. Uh, else if L2 is non-null, we would do the exact same thing with L2. Uh, only one of them can be non-null. So let me just run it to prove to myself that it still works. And yep, it does. And some random percentages that always seem to change. Right now it's 65%, but I'm sure if I submit it again, it could be 10%, or it could be 99%. I don't know why leak code is so inconsistent with this, but that's besides the point. If this was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching and feel free to suggest any other problems that you would like to see solved.